And so here's my little pet peeve, my rant. So if you push your dryer up against the wall, it's going to pinch that vent off. Then you're going to have problems. Enough said. huh? 70% of the dryer repairs I go to are related to that vent. Okay? At poor flow. There is probably not an airflow problem in this room. Because we have an open door here, basically. But we always like to have good flow. In and out. Okay, so we have the door off. We have it set up here carefully so that we don't mess up the wires. And this is pretty cut and dry here. We have these thermostats, which normally do not go bad. This high limit thermostat, and then we have the heat element. It's likely that the heat element has gone bad on this one. It's pretty easy to check with a meter. Just make sure that you have your meter set on ohms for the loop check basically and heat two terminals for the heat element are here and here here and here and what I normally do is just take my meter and put my probes on both those and see if we can find a loop in that heat element sometimes you can look and see uh, a break in the connection on your heat element that one is I think the only way we can check it is with this meter that. Okay, so with this cover removed, and we look in here, we can't really see any breaks. I don't see any breaks in this. And once again, with the unit unplugged, definitely you want to do this with the unit unplugged. What I do is, yeah, I don't see any breaks in this heat element anywhere. What I'll do is just stick my hand in here, see if I can feel any loose connections. And then, I do not feel any right off the top. So I actually found it. It was on the top level. And it's broken in like midstream right there. What we can do is we can remove this and tie that together temporarily. Because everybody's in a big hurry. Nobody wants to wait for parts to... Okay. I just don't pay me enough for this job, I'm telling you. Okay, so... Here is your heat element. And what I'm going to do is I straightened out those ends. I cleaned those ends a little bit. Hopefully those ends will weld themselves together. They may or may not. They may just fall apart. They may weld themselves together and be uh, good as new. But most of the time they will uh, fall apart. They will, they will heat up, overheat at the connection and come disconnected again. So this one needs a new heat element. But I'm going to temporarily fix it by connecting those two ends together. And uh, see if we can keep this going. Okay, that's what it's going to look like. That little tie right there. Now we're going to tuck it in and make sure that nothing uh, touches metal to metal here. And make sure the uh, insulators are all good. And then put it back together. Okay, so I'm going to take a look back here. Make sure there's no major lint built up. Don't see much. Take a look in here. Make sure that our heat elm is not shorting out to the body of the, whatever the casing of the heater. All looks pretty good to me. Hopefully that will weld itself together and it will be good for quite a while. And we're going to tuck this back in here and hook the wires back up. And we'll be good to go. I give phone advice for $25. If you're interested, you can contact me. 707-443-8347. Pacific Time. Z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com. Thanks for watching.